Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to another British Monroe Design Team Layout. So today we are going to be playing with Chroma Glaze. And I have Lime and Neon Orange because I'm going to make some fun Coral Reef mixed media on the background. So this is the Coral Reef 6x6 pencil. It is from the July 2022 release. We also have the Underwater Friends stamp set, which I will also be adding in just to kind of jazz it up a bit. Also July 2022 release. And we're going to be doing these two photos. No, we're not on a beach, but we are driving to a beach. So this is the start of my 2022 vacation. And we are going to pull in some of these papers. I'm going to use this one as my background to do all my mixed media work on. And then we're going to go ahead and um, mat the photo in this paper. I'm probably do do like a format and kind of get that stuck on there some way. So I am going to go ahead and get these matted, get branding strips cut off, and we will come back and do the mixed media together. So give me just one minute. So I've got my photos triple matted and stuck together and then because there's so many mats I've got this side with foam just to even them out. And now the fun part. So this will take uh, several layers. Um, so and I guess maybe not layers, stages. Um, because we are going... To create what my plan is, is I'm going to put the pictures here. So we'll do my fun little technique. So I know that the pictures are going to go here. I just want to make sure that I know where it's going to go so that I can have my mixed media in the right place. I don't really want to waste it. So, Alright, so we're going to have those there. So this is the photos. So those will be there, but we're going to have the mixed media coming all the way up. So we're going to do kind of a triangle out of the mixed media. That's my plan. Let's see if I can make it happen, right? And we are going to do both of the colors. Um, I won't say mixed together, but they are going to overlap. So we're going to start with the green, and then I'm going to add uh, the orange on there. So I wanted to make some room. Alright, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and get that green layered down. And I picked these two colors because they are colors that, like the orange is a little bit in the, uh, the paper, but not a lot. So there's the green, and I'm going to fill in with the orange. Let me just clean off the green, the lime, well it's not green, it's lime, sorry, lime. And now the orange, we're just going to come in, and like I said, we're just going to fill in. So we're just going to kind of just add it. And we will come back and fill in the other areas. We'll kind of make it all match together, right? So that does have a little bit of green mixed into it. That's okay because I'm going to use it up right here on this area. And this area. So there we go. <coughs> so I'm going to pull this up now. We will 
Let's see. Sorry, my husband coughed and scared me. <laughs> All right, so we are going to let this dry. And I'm just going to, they got a line right there, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull, wipe that up. I do have a little Q-tip right here, which kind of works out fabulously. So we're going to let that dry. I'm going to wash this off, and I will come back. And then we're just going to kind of turn it and get some kind of, you know, I might just put one right here and just get a little bit of the peak there and then fill in that area. So we'll see how it goes, but we got to let this one dry first, so I will be right back. So we have everything dry now, and I've got my little coral wreath flying across. Um, I've stamped out from the stamp set, I stamped out two sharkies and a little crabby, and I've just colored them. Uh, so now we're going to create like a cute little background. I've just got some stash here. I hate when they put the clear cellophane on the acetate. Okay, so I'm going to start tucking these pieces in. We're going to use these cute little colored pieces to kind of start our photo clusters. And we got to figure out... But do you see how it's very subtle, like the, the chroma glaze? Very subtle. And I really actually enjoy... Maybe that one doesn't have it on there. Alright, sorry. I feel like it does. Alright, we're just we're gonna make it work. We're just gonna stick them under there. A little crabby on here. He's just gonna kinda hang out right there. And I certainly do feel like there's something on this one, and I apologize, you guys. And now I'm just putting the adhesive on the area that's going to be hidden. And then we're going to get this little shark on there. Sharks are uber, super cute. Let's just maybe kind of tuck him right there as well. And we've just got a few things that I'm just going to use to jazz up the rest of the layout. I'm just going to kind of start tucking some items in. And around. We're going to pop this guy behind our little crabby. So it says good times ahead. And I definitely want this little road tripping one to kind of be our title piece. So let's put him up there. And I'll put, because this is going to start our album, right? So let's just kind of get that there. And real quick before I forget, we're going to put June 2022. Alright, this says weekend vibes, but I do want the summer. And we're going to Stick this right up over here just to bring some more of that and then this summer it's going to kind of go up here because you can still tell that it's a bug or you know one of those bands the V-dub vans, and I always, whenever there's any of those hippie vans or anything, you guys, totally, me and my husband, 
So we're going to put the summer right here. So it's me, summer, June 2022, road tripping. I've got two little hearts. Let's see what we can pull over here. And kind of jazz it up a bit more. Just like doing all the shapes today, right? We're just going to get a little bit of a wood piece. At summer, feel the sun on your face. What else do we have? We have all these cute little hmm, butterflies. I'm going to bring in some of the floral bits just to kind of bring in more of the colors. If we can just get a little bit of the seaweed in and around. What else do we have? Um, I do like favorite place. Because my favorite place is with him. Just don't tell him. Because then he'll know. So we're going to add favorite place up here just to kind of extend that one a little bit. And some summer vibes right here on the photo. I do want to get in a few of these hearts. I'm going to put one right here. And one right up here, and that is simply because it's this orange color. There's a lot of that going on on, the, on this cluster, so we're just going to try to bring it up. Alright, you guys. Also, I did um, trim this down and back it on just some white cardstock. But yeah, here's the close-up. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It's kind of fun. And I even got to do some coloring. I'm working on that. I'm not the best colorer, so I just use some watercolor brushes. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's layout. Don't forget to go check out Brutus Monroe, and I'll see you guys later with another video.